good morning we are from svs embedded so the project title name is called intelligent uh, wireless street light system so in this project uh, we are using 889s52 microcontroller and uh, uh, we used one rf433 megahertz trans receiver pair so uh, first of all we are uh, talking to the receiver section so we used lane 1 lane 2 lane 3 uh, it consists of here the lane 1 lane 2 lane 3 and lane 4 so all four sides we are giving the street lights and the uh, transmitter side we are using hd 12 encoder so we are using four push buttons so this is called the transmitter section edit uh, transmitter section unit consists of an HT 12D and a power supply of uh, uh, LM7805 regulator. So we used a uh, battery power supply, 9 volts 500 milliamp uh, battery. It's an uh, use and throw battery. Uh, so this is RF433 megahertz transmitter module. So here in the receiver section, uh, we are talking. First of all, we are talking into the hardware part. So first of all, I am using the AC power supply. AC uh, here we are using an uh, transformer. It's a 9 volts transformer. It's a step down transformer. So it uh, now it coming to the bridge rectifier. So here we are using an uh, two pin element cable. So it is uh, giving the power supply to that board. So when the um, AC is giving to the bridge rectifier, bridge rectifier it converts AC to pulse rated DC. So here we are using an 1000 microfarad by 25 volt electrolytic capacitor. So the main purpose of this capacitor is uh, if there is any ripple, uh, it need to reduce that uh, peaks. So here we used one uh, 7805 regulator that is called LM7805 regulator. So that regulator will regulate 9 volts to 5 volts. So after that we used one LED. That LED is called power supply LED. When I giving the power to the board, that LED will be on, means the board is perfectly working. So here I was used 889SV2 microcontroller. It's an 8-bit microcontroller having total 40 pin IC, 4 ports. Each port consists of 88 pin, port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3. Total 32 input output bidirectional. Here port 0 is connected to the 16 cross 2 LCD display. It's a character LCD display. Whatever the process is going on to the microcontroller, that should be displayed on to the LCD. Here, the ninth pin is called the reset. And 11, uh, 18th pin and 19th pin is called crystal. This is the heart of the circuit for the microcontroller to generate the clock pulses to the internal CPU. And after that, we used one ISP programming socket. Whenever we want to change the program onto the microcontroller, so we use these uh, 10 pin that is called ISP in system programming. ISP. So here we used uh, each side, we designed four, four LEDs that is called street lights. When the user want to press the data, so here we received the data through RF433 MHz frequency of receiver unit consists of an HJ12D D is called a decoder. Whenever I am giving the power to the, the, this board, automatically, automatically here that uh, LED will be on. Next LED adds uh, the, the communication between the two models will be established. When I when I removing the power, that LED will be off. Means there is no communication between transmitter and receiver. When I giving the power to the board, that uh, th the LED should be on. When I press the switch off uh, the first lane, that automatically first lane should be on. It displays the first lane on. So when I I want to off the same switch, when I press it, uh, that uh, lane should be off. The status will be displayed. When I pressing the uh, when I press the second switch, LED2 on means that according to the LED2 will be LED2 will be on. So when I press same switch to that one, that LED should be off. So at the same time, I'm pressing the third one. I'm third one. That lane third is on. Same switch, lane third will be on. When I press the switch four, lane four. Okay, lane four off. So automatically, when I press uh, one and again uh, one, after that two, after that three, after that four, all sides of LEDs will be on. When I press one, two, three, 
four all will be off so wireless communication between we are uh, designed uh, as the student requirement purpose we designed rf 433 we can extend this project using bluetooth rl using wi-fi communication using our own uh, mobile communication app we can increase this project at the same time we will go for the zigbee modules we can communicate up to 30 meter distance and zigbee wireless pro module it can communicate up to one kilometer distance so uh, is this project contains uh, uh, my uh, zero five one microcontroller we can go for the the AVR or OM7 or MSP430 microcontrollers. So, um, wireless communication between the microcontroller and the trans receiver modules. So, if there is any doubts, uh, let me know to SVS Embedded. Okay, thanking you. Bye.